Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video, we will learn how to control a game character on the screen of your computer using a joystick. A joystick uh, will be connected to an Arduino using jump wires and the Arduino will be connected to your computer and in your computer they will be running a, um, a Python program uh, using the library PyGame and you will be able to use a joystick uh, like this to control this character uh, this is the beginning and the character will be as basic as this shape this circular shape but in the coming videos we'll build um, a, um, a an advanced character looking like car human being or whatever you want so let's get started we have a joystick a joystick uh, has five pins a joystick has a ground pin five V pin V R X pin VRY pin and the switch which is a push button we'll see how the push button works on character actually we'll be using the switch button or the push button to change the color the character and we'll be using VR X and we are Y to control the character uh, in the 2D mode. Um, yeah, and we power the joystick module using this ground pin and five volts pin. Okay, and we have the uh, Arduino board, it's Arduino Uno board, and we, yeah, we have connected the uh, joystick to the Arduino board using jump wires. Uh, ground is connected to uh, to ground. Gr I mean, ground of the joystick is connected to the ground of the Arduino Uno. Five volts or pin, five volt pin of the joystick is connected to five volt or the Arduino. VRX pin of the joystick is connected to A0 that's analog 0 and uh, VRY of the joystick is connected to uh, v, uh, to A1 that's analog 1 of the Arduino and the switch pin is connected to digital pin 2 of the 
Arduino. Once we have this wiring diagram well connected, then we have to upload code from our computer to the Arduino Uno board. Here is the code. In the code, we, we, we have joystick uh, and that, that's uh, VRX joystick X it's connected to A0 it's, it's uh, yeah and joystick Y pin is connected to A1 the button pin is connected to 2 and we initiate the um, CEO monitor with this spot rate and 1600 and then we set the pin mode of the battery pin as input and we tell the microcontroller to call upon an internal pull up uh, uh, so that we avoid the floating of this pin when the button is not pushed mm. Then in the loop will be um, reading the value of the joystick pin and the value of the uh, the joystick X pin, and we'll be reading the value of joy joystick Y pin. And then because these X VRX and VRY are analog, we read them using uh, the function analog pin analog read and because the button pin is connected to digital pin uh, actually it will be giving the values zero and ones so we need to read it using the to read so the function the the the, the next statements will be um, printing the serial monitor or to the serial interface the value of uh, VRX actually is VRX axis and and comma and then the value of Y axis on Y axis comma and then the value of the button okay the, the delay is uh, uh, 100 milliseconds or a tenth of the second so it will be uh, a reading uh, the next value f 100 100 milliseconds okay this is the code it's simple and self-explanatory I can say so you compile the code and the code is very well compiled and so there's no error now to compile uh, successfully so we have confidence to upload it yeah the serial monitor is opened by a python program so we have to close this python program we um we really upload Uploading is successful. So we open studio monitor to see what's being printed. Mm. These are the values. It's printed.
printing this is the its initial position this is the initial position of the uh, of the joystick x is 509 y is 512 and the state of the button is one because we we did pull up pull up means when the button the uh, button key uh, or button pin is not pressed it will be initially reading one okay but let's let me push the button for example when i push the button it's reading zero and i when i try to move the joystick it will change the values okay so uh, I would like you to see how the values change when we change the joystick now I would like to move to uh, the, to the origin to zero zero. Yeah, I've moved it moved to zero zero and I push the button. Uh, so I would like to achieve zero zero zero. Okay. To achieve zero zero, you you come here. You, you move your joystick to this angle and you 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 push the button to achieve zero 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 the maximum value the maximum value is ten twenty three, ten twenty three, one. That's it. So you Arduino is printing these values to the serial monitor. It means in any any program running on your computer can read the same data. So let's close the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE and go start a Python program. But before we start running a Python program, let's look at that Python program. And maybe that's a small size. Okay. So this is the program. Major libraries are uh, Pygame and Cydio. Then we initialize Pygame. We set the, the size of the window. And we set the character size, the initial color. We connect the code to the CEO monitor or CEO interface. 
that's where it gets data from the Arduino then this is the major block the major block where the the game reads data and it adjusts the character according to the position received from from the computer yeah that's it but first of all it needs to decode to parse the data and then it will be adjusting the position of the character according to, to, to the values received from the joystick this is the game and when you quit when you decide to to quit the studio monitor will close and the pie game will quit that's when you close the window this is where you will find the code files for Benax Media and today's code can be found uh, in the repository called Interactive Interesting Game of the Python. And today you use game and the code for Python with Pygame library it's this one remember to change the pot name to yours mm, and if you want the code for Arduino it's here too okay now let's run the code okay this is the output and we can control this using can simply control this using a virtual stick like this joystick to that point zero 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 and when I press the button the the costume change or the color changes to red it's it was said in this program like like character color will be initially blue and if button state is one otherwise that's when I press the button it will be changed to red well this is it if you enjoyed it of course please press like and if you didn't subscribe uh, you are you can miss out some videos because I'll be dropping the videos uh, yeah, anytime uh yeah and if you know it can interest someone why can't you share it okay thank you have a nice day